Hello everybody. Welcome back to my Aadhaar Authentication course. In this lesson, we will be learning the basics of Aadhaar Authentication process. The learning agenda of this session is as follows. At the end of this session, the student will be able to number one understand meaning of other authentication. Number two, explain what happens during authentication process. Number three, other attribute categories. Number four, list of attributes under each category. And finally, the general uses of other authentication process. Now let me explain what happens during other authentication. The resident submits Aadhaar number and demographic and biometric inputs. During the authentication transaction, the resident's record is selected using the Aadhaar number submitted by the resident. Then the demographic and biometric inputs are matched against the stored data which was provided by the resident during the enrollment or update process. Fingerprints in the inputs are matched against all stored 10 fingerprints of that resident. In the context of other authentication, the following things must be noted. In all forms of authentication, the other number needs to be submitted so that authentication is reduced to one is to one match. In addition, other authentication service only responds with yes or no and no personal identity information is returned as part of the response. This fact is very important because there is always a questions regarding the privacy of the individual or residence information in the authentication process and this condition makes it clear that no personal information is transferred or transacted during the other authentication process. It only answers yes or no comparing the data which is submitted by the resident. The other authentication process is used to verify the attributes belonging to a particular resident. So there are broadly two categories of attributes which are included. The first one is called demographic attribute. Under this category, the following are included. Name of the resident, gender, date of birth or age, address, mobile number and email address. The second category of attributes are called biometric attributes. These include 10 fingerprints and iris impressions of a, each resident. In addition to the demographic and biometric attributes, two more attributes are used. They are called OTP and PIN, one-time password sent to the resident's mobile number during an authentication process. For example, if you are creating an account on the DigiLocker uh, system, then a OTP mechanism of verification is used. Now is the time to consider use of other authentication. Other authentication enables institution to verify identity of residents using an online and electronic means where institution collects required information from the resident along with resident's other number and passes the same to UIDAI system for verification. Other authentication service provides services to instantly verify identity of a resident against available data in CIDR. Based on the needs of the service, different identifiers could be used along with Aadhaar number. These identifiers could be combination of biometric such as fingerprints, iris impressions and or demographic information such as name, date of birth, address and or a secret PIN or a OTP number known only to the resident. Now let me conclude the lesson. Aadhaar is an online resident identity infrastructure built for Indian residents. It collects resident information during enrollment and enables agencies to verify input submitted by residents online and electronic form. In an authentication transaction, other does not share any resident information but merely responds with yes or no after comparing the submitted data with the data which is available and stored in the CIDR.